It's not just European politicians that have seen a downturn in popularity. The euro itself has also hit huge lows. And, well, Europeans look to alternative types of currency to secure their finances. We can find out more on that from Maria Fenoshina. These colourful rectangular nodes are not money, but they have a real value. You can go shopping with these bills in your wallet or pay for dinner at a restaurant. The idea of alternative or so-called complementary currencies that people or businesses agree to use for transactions within a particular area, a district, quarter or just a street, may look like something from a kid's game. But the reasons behind it are far from child's play. First, practical. Local currencies stay within the region, developing it. Second, ideological. A lack of confidence in official currencies make people want to have something they understand, that they can control and that they can trust, and not just something that is printed, you don't know how, with no control and leads to speculation. Alternative forms of money have a history stretching back decades and appear to be growing in popularity, especially in tough financial times. Banks play a lot with money and often risky games, but at the end of the day, ordinary people have to pay for mistakes and losses. This is why people want to have a currency that they will be sure will serve them and not go disappear somewhere in fiscal paradises, global finance systems or banks. Today's most famous headline-grabbing alternative currency is the digital Bitcoin, but there are dozens of others in use worldwide. In France, Europe's second largest economy, people exchange services and goods via at least 20 different types of complementary currencies, and their numbers are growing. Ghislaine is behind one such project in Montreuil outside Paris. She says she never considered paying with anything other than euros until the advantages of an alternative became clear. What bothers us with the euro is that it's definitely not just a mode of exchange, but it also became a mode of speculation to feed banks, while local currencies support local projects and develop a real economy on the ground, which means it works for us, the people. Felka's restaurant is part of the project, along with a flower shop and organic supermarket. There are people in the world of finance that want nothing else but to make people poorer, all for their own benefit. Why should we allow them to do that? This sticker indicates this restaurant accepts la pêche. The word means fishing or peach in French, but also energy. And the slogan, vous avez la pêche, nous aussi, is used to express someone is in good health and full of energy, which the local currencies here in France certainly seem to be. Experts claim complementary currencies will never replace an official one. However, if trust is undermined hard enough in conventional money, people may start looking for a different type of change. Marie Fnoshnati from France.